There are important things that you need to take note when you are dealing with derivatives. Today we are going to look at those important aspects. Let us start. Let us look at this. We need to understand this notation. We are going to derive this function inside the bracket with respect to x. So this is how it goes. Now we know that the derivative of 2, I mean y squared, is 2y. Now we need to understand that we are deriving a different variable with respect to x. So after finding the derivative of the function inside the bracket, it is important to write multiply by dy over dx. So the derivative of y squared in terms of x is this derivative. And this is part of the answer. It's very important. Now let us look at this. The derivative of x squared with respect to x. We are going to have 2x multiplied by dx over dx. Now we all know that any term divided by itself, the answer is equals to 1. So this will be equals to 1. 1 multiplied by 2x. We are going to have only 2x. This is important, especially when you are dealing with uh, implicit differentiation or partial differentiation. That is calculus maths 15 12 for mathematics 16 13 it's when you are dealing with related rates so it's very important to take note of this let us look at more examples let us look at the derivative of this equation with respect to x so the derivative of x squared it's 2x multiply by dx over dx plus the derivative of y squared is 2y multiplied by dy over dx equals to the derivative of r squared is 2r multiplied by dr over dx simplifying this this will be equals to 1 so we have 2x plus 2y multiplied by dy over dx is equals to 2r dr over dx. Let us derive this equation with respect to dt. So the derivative of a is equals to 1. 1 multiplied by dA over dt. It's equals to pi is a constant, so we can simply derive r squared. The derivative of r squared is 2r multiplied by dr over dt. So simplifying this, we have dA over dt. It's equals to 2 pi r multiplied by d r over dt. This is useful when you are dealing with related rates. The derivative of this equation with respect to dt time. So the derivative of a is 1 dA over dt. So we have dA over dt it's equals to 6 it's a constant so you are going to derive l squared we have 2 l multiplied by dl over dt simplifying this we have da over dt it's equals to 12 l multiplied by dl over dt the derivative of this with respect to t so the derivative of v is 1 multiplied by dv over dt 
it's equals to this it's a constant so we can only focus on r cube so the derivative of cubic of r is 3r squared dr over dt simplifying this this will get rid of this and then we are left with dv over dt it's equals to 4 pi r squared multiplied by dr over dt that's it for this lesson video this is Paula sj thank you very much